So good morning everyone, welcome to Pilates with me today. We are using resistance bands, which, uh, so we're not gonna start with it, we're going to first warm up and then we're gonna grab our resistance bands, but make sure you've just got it nice and close by so it's quick to grab whenever you need to. Now remember Pilates is all about working the core, so we're gonna be working the stomach, the back, the glutes, which is your bottom, but also around the sides. So the sides of your hips are also part of the glutes. We're also gonna be working the chest and the upper back. Now, of course, we're gonna be doing movements that will also get into the arms. Did I say the abs? Also the abs. So if we're, using, if we're working the arms or the legs, then know that we are also working one of the other muscles that make up the core, because that is what we are focused on. Right, so for our warm up today, come onto your bottom, bring your feet flat down onto the mat, sit up nice and tall as we just work on our posture as you hold onto the back of your thighs and then try and sit up tall, squeezing your shoulder blades back, lifting up through your spine, especially the back of your neck. So we want a beautiful long spine from the very first vertebra at the base to the very top of your head. Now as we exhale, round out your spine, roll a little bit back onto the lower part of your coccyx and then inhale, sit up tall. Good, exhale, roll it down just a little bit and inhale, take it up. So we want to work with our breath, make sure that you are flowing easily and gently through these movements, taking your whole breath to move down and back up. Now you can carry on holding onto your legs or if you're ready, you can let go. And as you feel you're ready to come down a little deeper, you can roll down just a fraction deeper. But each time we come back up, I want you to sit up nice and tall with that beautiful straight spine. Good. Now, as we come up this time, whether you need to hold onto your legs or not, come up, inhale, lift. Exhale, either grab hold of your legs or reach forward as we come down a little lower. Inhale, lift up. Nice straight backs, big circles as we come down. So we're warming up the shoulders as well. Inhale, up, big circles around. All right, let's come down as low as we can without lying all the way down, hold it there. Squeeze the tummy in, relax in the shoulders and the chest, and then inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, come on down. Now breathe normally as we hold for your inhale. Hold for your exhale. And inhale, sit up tall. And exhale, bring the hands behind the legs again. We're going to open up one arm, take your eye line all the way around and bring it back. Take the other arm around as we twist in the body, rotate the shoulders all the way around and come on back. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, rotate and exhale, bring it back and other side, inhale and exhale lovely as we exhale round the spine come all the way down onto the mat reach your arms up overhead and flex flex your toes now if this is going to be a little bit too difficult for you with your feet with your legs uh, straight then bend the knees and place the feet down onto the ground we're going to inhale reach the arms up as we exhale tuck your chin in round the spine sit up nice and tall inhale lift Exhale, fold over the legs, feel that beautiful stretch. Inhale up and exhale, tuck the tailbone under, tuck the chin in, round the spine, come all the way down. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. So we're gonna do that a few more times. So roll up with your exhale, try and make it as smooth as possible. Inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, fold, reach as far past your toes as you can. Inhale, lift up tall and exhale, round the spine down. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Good. So remember, you can do this with the knees bent, holding onto the back of your thighs if you need to. Inhale up and exhale down. Good. We're just going to do one more like this. And exhale, come on down. 
Lovely, good. Let's bring those feet flat onto the mat if they're not already there. Now pull the bottom up and forward so that you're tilting in the pelvis, allowing the lower part of your spine to be flat onto the mat. And that creates this kind of scooping sensation in the lower abs. Reach your fingertips towards your toes as we inhale, sorry, exhale, and lift up the shoulder blades. Now coming into Pilates 100, keep those arms nice and strong. Inhale for the first five pulses and exhale for the next five. Now carry on with that pattern. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Good. Keep that pulse nice and strong. In, out, in, out, in. Out, we're nearly there, only 20 more to go. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, and release. Good, bring those shoulder blades under the back, tuck them in nice and tight. Push your feet into the floor as we come into our pelvic lifts. So tilt your pelvis up, roll the spine up, pushing into the heels, lifting your hips nice and high. And as you exhale, peel the spine back down onto the mat. Good, so as we take this next inhale again, lift the spine one vertebra at a time all the way up. As you get to the top, we're squeezing into the glutes and not arching the spine. So careful not to push your belly button and your ribs up. Good, two more rolls up. We're aiming to literally lift one vertebra from the base of the spine, moving one vertebra at a time all the way up and then all the way down. Good, so peel it up, hold the tummy. Good, this time let's just come up nice and high, hold it there and pulse the hips. Here we go, four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then peel it all the way down. Good, so hopefully you're feeling a bit warm within the body and you are ready for those resistance bands. So grab whatever you've got available to you. Remember, if you don't have a resistance band, you, uh, that is absolutely fine. You can still do these exercises, they will still work. Now, because mine is quite a tight one, I'm going to use it above my knees, but if you've got a really stretchy one, you might want to use it below the knees, even down as far as your ankles, but do not put it over your knee, over the joint, so um, we don't wanna put any tension on the joint. Good, now have the knees hip distance apart, creating that tension in the band, and exhale, round the spine, coming all the way down. We're gonna start with some abs, starting with our bicycles. So pull the knees into the chest, keep the right knee there and extend the left leg. Now the lower you bring that left leg down to the floor, the more you're working the lower part of the abs, but the resistance band is going to create that tension through the legs. So as we exhale, lift up the heart, hold it there, lifting up the shoulder blades as high up off the ground as you can. We're gonna pulse it in for two and then change, change. Good, create that tension into your band. Now, if you don't have a band, you're going to just bring that leg as low down as you can. That's gonna get your abs working. And if you want something a little harder, then don't let your knee come close into your chest. If you've got the bands, you wanna pull that knee into the chest because that's what's going to be working the abs even more. Good, hopefully you can feel the difference by using a band adding that extra intensity into your practice. Good, four more, three, two, and one, nice, come in, hold it up, don't drop, bring your hands behind your head, open your knees so that you've got that tension here again. We're going to hold here, suck the belly button in. You should feel that contraction into the abs. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure that you're not crunching your neck in. You wanna keep a gap between your chin and your chest. Good, now bring your left elbow over towards the right hand side, hold it there. Come up as high as you can, feel that tension into the stomach. And over to the other side and hold. 
Keep breathing. And come on back. Hold into the center. Still keeping that contraction nice and strong. Good. Come over to the right hand side. Lift up. Feel that in the oblique. Feel that through the ribs, your intercostal muscles. And bring it back and over to the other side. Beautiful. And bring it back and lower the body. Nice job. And extend the legs up to the sky. Now pull your toes back so that we're flexing the feet, feeling that stretch. But make sure your toes continue to point over towards behind your head. Open those legs up nice and wide. We're going to exhale once more, lifting up the heart, keeping that contraction in place. But we're going to be working the outer part of the legs into that hip. So again, remember not over the knees as we pulse the legs open. Now just take it as wide as you can. If you do not have a band, then I'm going to encourage you to move a little faster. So just like um, with the Pilates 100, it's just a little bit of a movement. If you don't have a band, I want you to focus on the speed of it, keeping that movement small. If you've got the band, I want you to focus on pushing out so that you're working the outer part of the leg. Keep breathing, keep sucking your belly button in towards your spine, keep holding your tummy in. So we're creating that ab exercise as well as this work through the outer part of the leg into the gluteus minimus. Good, give me eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there. Now, if you've got lower back issues, bring your hands beneath your bottom. Otherwise, we're going to drop the legs, bring them together and up. Open wide, get that resistance into the band. Drop them down, bring them together and lift them up. Now, as the legs come down towards the floor, this is where you've got to think about your lower back. Do not let your spine lift up off the floor, right? Good, your stomach should be on fire. As you take those legs down, feel that lower part of your abs working super hard. Good, four more. Three. Two, good, keep those circles nice and big. And last one, good, and pull the knees into the chest. Well done, guys. All right, we're gonna come into some more glute work. So bring those feet flat down onto the ground, tuck your shoulder blades under the back, and pull your feet in quite close towards your bottom, but not so that it's uncomfortable. It needs to be comfortable on your knees. That band remains in place. Keep pushing your knees open so you're constantly working the outer part. Tuck the shoulder blades under and then peel the hips up. So we're balancing on the upper part of the back into the shoulders. Careful not to push into your neck. Make sure the knees and toes are pointing down. Now hands are down onto the ground and that's going to help with your balance. If you can, you can bring your hands up. That's going to just increase the intensity. Keep pushing those knees open. Good. Now get your hips up a little higher. Push into the heels. Feel that work through the hamstring and your glutes. And then push your knees open. So whether you've got a band or not, just by pulsing the knees open like this, you are going to feel it into your hips and into the outer part of the leg. And because the bottom is up, we're going to be working the whole glute and the hamstring. And suck the tummy in so that you're keeping that your strong house, keeping it powerful, sturdy, and supportive. All right, keep pulsing those knees open. Try not to bubble your bottom up and down. And then, of course, if you don't have a band, you can go a lot further out with the band. You've got that resistance. Then you're pushing against that. Feel that burn. All right, we've got 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one. Good. Bring your hands down to the ground. Push into your left leg. The right knee is going to come up off the ground. Hold it there and then lift it up. Now, if this is too much for you, you can place your bottom down onto the ground. We're going to flex the foot and drop. Point the toe and lift. Pull it in towards you. There we go. Flex the foot and down. Inhale. Point and up. Exhale. Flex and down. Point and up. Flex and down, point and up. Good, give me two more. Down, make sure you're not arching your back or clenching your mouth. 
and up good let's place that foot down and extend the other leg up get those hips up nice and high tummies tight flex the foot and down point and up again flex and down point and up keep breathing keep taking this leg as close up to your face as you can down and up relax into your body make sure all the work is taking place down there <laughs> Good, push that foot down onto the floor and then open up your feet. The hips are still up nice and high. Open your feet up nice and wide. So that's gonna take it into a different element. Push those knees open, open, open. Feel that all the way underneath your bottom. Keep holding your tummy in, keep relaxing into the chest, into your jaw, into your shoulders. Good, keep breathing. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and roll it down. Good, pull the knees into the chest. Give your bottom a nice stretch there. Good, all right, so we're gonna come into another ab exercise. So take the legs up nice and high, and again, we're going to split the legs. So keep both legs straight. We're going to pull one leg in and then swap. All right, so again, the lower you take that leg, the more work you're doing in the lower part of the abs. So let's drop the left leg and do a double pulse and change legs. Double pulse and change. Double and change. Double and change. Give me four more. Three, two, and one. Right, give me singles. Eight seven six keep your chest up high five four three two last one Woo! good job and pull it in all righty so roll over onto your sides we're coming into our clams so feet are together and we're going to lift up. Now, as you lift that knee, this hip wants to roll back. That's where I want your focus. So feet stay together and here we go. Four, eight and close. Seven, come on, push that knee back. Whether you've got your band or not, it's still gonna be working. So keep pushing that knee back without rocking that top hip forward. Two more and last one. All right, now let's pulse that knee up here. Four, eight, seven, six, five four three two one hold it there for eight seven six five four three two and one relax that knee hand comes to the ground lie down onto that arm and extend the legs out we're going to be working that oblique muscle now so lift both legs up off the floor hold your tummy in super tight now you know that when your feet are up as high as they can, this is the muscle here that's working. If you wanna give it a little prod to make sure it's working hard, feel how strong that muscle is, then do so. All right, now we're gonna pulse the legs up here. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up there as high as you can. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. You've got it. All right, now let's pulse it up again. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Again, pulse it up. Keep going. You know if you need to take a break, just take a break. Rejoin when you're ready and relax. Good. Let's swing those legs over to the other side. Get the other side done before we come onto our tummies and work our backs. All right, so feet together, your band just above your knee. All right, here we go. So open the knee for eight, bring it back for seven. You've got it, keep pushing it back. Keep that hip stacked over the bottom hip. Good job, we've got four more, three, Ooh, push it back, come on, push, push, push. If you don't have the band, you've got your own resistance that you can work towards. All right, take it up and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two and one hold that knee there keep pushing it back hold it keep holding the tummy in keep growing through the body and release good let's extend those legs out to the side if you need to support yourself hand comes to the floor and then reach the body down onto the ground good let's lift up here squeeze into the side again just give it a little prod make sure it's working hard lift those legs up as high as you can and hold it there good we're going to pulse it up for eight here we go and eight seven six five four three two and one hold it there come on get it up just a fraction higher good keep breathing and pulse eight seven six five four three two one hold it up as high as you can squeeze into that oblique muscle feel that muscle working as it wraps around your side into your back and again eight seven six five four three two one hold it and come on down nice work all right so we're going to bring that band and just bring it down to the lower part of our legs so maybe mid calf or a little bit lower down if you need to all right roll onto your stomachs coming into our backs so um, i have mentioned to you so many times before and i'm going to do it again when we work out our stomachs they reach a point where they can't get stronger because our backs are weak so we need to make sure our backs are nice and strong in order to create a strong two side of the body because they both work together all right let's reach the hands out in front of us now lift up the shoulder blades push the shoulders away from your ears so beautiful long neck tuck your chin in slightly to lengthen through the back of the neck and immediately you should feel uh, the muscles down the length of your spine working good now if you can lift your arms up off the ground almost like you're skydiving and if you can this is going to be an extra you're going to lift the legs up to the back and pull the knee the legs apart so again we're working that outer part of the legs by pushing them open good keep breathing not holding your breath hold it there for three for two for one and relax good as we take our next inhale lift up hold it here keep lengthening through the body remember we're not trying to come into a big curve we're trying to lengthen on your next exhale drop it down keep that tension in your band inhale lift and exhale lower good we've just got one more so inhale lift and hold and on your next exhale come on down beautiful work everyone all right push up onto all fours we're going to bring this band around our wrists <laughs> all right we don't do that very often so we're coming into a plank here and we're going to keep the band on the arms now what i want you to do is when your band is on your arms you've got to pull them open so that just by having your hands on the floor stretching out the band you are working the shoulders and the upper part of the back all right so once the hands are on the floor then you either have the option of pushing your hips forward and staying on your knees or if you can lift up onto your toes tuck your tailbone under so we're flattening the lower part of the back careful not to drop your hips pull them up almost as high as your shoulders push the ground away lengthen through the spine hold your tummy in all right so we're holding for 30 seconds and we've already been there for five all right keep holding your tummy in keep breathing good nearly there keep squeezing your bottom keep lengthening through your legs good you've only got 10 more seconds but then we're not coming down all right you're going to pull your right knee in towards your nose and here we go so right knee comes into your nose try to touch your head and step it back now if you are on your knees you can still do this 
you're just going to push your hips back a little bit to pull your knee in and then put the knee down again and push the hips forward and then left knee comes in and push it back so remember as you pull this knee in that's your contraction so I want you to really actively try and get your knee to your nose good give me one more on each side and bring it back one more time lovely job place those knees onto the ground sit the hips back reach the arms forward take a nice deep breath in and exhale lovely and it's already time for the end of class so let's have a little bit of stretch so bring your legs out in front of you now if you have the band and you don't have a lot of flexibility this is another way you can use your band taking it to your feet and using it to help pull you down if you need that extra help but if not just grab the legs wherever you can and then gently apply some pressure pulling your body down a little closer towards the legs just really aiming to let the body release into it relax into the stretch good now tuck your chin in round out the spine a little bit as we almost try and tap the top of our head to our knees good that stretch should go all the way down your back through your hips into your hamstrings your glutes maybe even your calf muscles if you're pulling your toes back really far beautiful and come on up good let's come into a half lotus pose so the right leg is going to come up onto the top of your left leg and if that's a little bit too much into your hips just bring it out in front all right sit up nice and tall we're going to take the right hand come over to the knee lift up tall through the body and rotate the shoulders take the eye line all the way back good breathe into it relax into it and come on back gently and slowly slide your hand down the mat reach up and over let's get a beautiful stretch down the side of the body stretching out those oblique muscles because we did quite a bit of exercises incorporating these muscles here so hold here for just a moment breathe in deeply maybe reach just a fraction further good and come on up now this leg that's on top we're going to get into that glute so walk the hands forward if you want to bring your elbows down onto the floor try and pull your belly button forward so almost trying to lengthen the lower part of the spine and the way you're going to do that is by tilting the pelvis back you want your sitting bones instead of sitting on them you want them to pop up and look to the back wall <laughs> Good. breathe into it enjoy the stretch good we could stay here all day love to stretch and walk the hands up good we need to change legs so bring your left leg now on top or in front we're going to bring the left arm across the body lift up and out of your hips and then take the eye line and the shoulders as far around as you can now really pull your nose all the way around so that we're getting that stretch through the neck and the upper back as well good and come on back left hand is going to slide down your mat as we lift up and over getting that stretch through the side body reach feel that lengthening sensation or oh, that stretch goes right down into your hips if you're really lengthening through that arm good hold it there one more breath and exhale come on up and then we're going to walk those hands forward coming down as low as you can relax into it again you're trying to tilt your pelvis back to increase that lengthening of your glute muscle good and again just let yourself melt into it good 
good one more breath in and walk your hands up lovely come into a comfortable seated position reach your arms forward one hand over the other reach as we round off the spine stretching out the upper back and then take those arms all the way behind you interlace the fingers and reach down towards the the floor lifting your hearts up good I'd like to thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed that class. Give yourself a little round of applause. Um, some of those exercises were pretty hard. I will see you again really soon. Thank you guys, bye.